Welcome back for some more High Shard Expert Challenges. Hope you are doing well. It's a nice summer day. Uh, so I'm going to be inside working and playing Monster Train, you know? Perfect thing to do in the summer. Uh, anyways, it is our Expert Challenges. Last time I did Fragile Collection um with shark tail queen and when an egg strategy the queen and implings in general give you something for that sacrificial uh which is nice and i went with wormkin as a secondary so i could actually target the extra collectors that come and then of course they both have good spells for the zoom enhance plus eggs are great with zoom enhance it does bring us to the next one which is homework uh so homework is simply the math challenge. You cannot see combat previews. This is actually an option, right? Uh, bum, 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 settings. Let's see, gameplay. You can actually turn this on and off anyways instead of doing it as a mutator, which is pretty funny as an expert challenge. Now this one's a great strategy for find a sweeper, scale sweeper, uh, running in a Primordium with Awoken, uh, but I've already done Primordium with Awoken, so I'm going to do Primordium with Stygian, the other clan with good sweepers, uh, and that's what we're going to run, and we're going to go foreground power. So don't let me down, please. Okay, this isn't a bad start. Space Prism, Helical, Crystallis, Gem Trove. We got Daedalus Tinker, Arcus Failure Incarnate Seraph, the Temperant. Temperant does, of course, mean that Superfood is going to be not as good. Let's see which one we have first. Yeah. So Superfood is a little bit more lackluster. Aggressive Edible, though, can easily get us there. Capricious Reflection is always a fun time, especially early on. And ooh, an additional plus five to our units. Yes, please. Spikes. Hmm, I mean, I want this. Let's see. Uh, it, it does mean a bad draw could hurt us a lot here. Yeah, this is, a, this is not a good draw. Do I just... <sighs> game. Oh, I screwed that up anyways. That's okay. I mean, it's not the most okay. Because I got some scary stuff coming here. Alright, there's no combat preview. Um, thanks, game. Alright, so that's 26 coming into you and your healing five so that's put you at 14 21 so we want one more so i can kill this in one hit up there yeah Ugh, six health we blast you you're at one health oh my god no 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 you take that hit for me we plank great Get rid of this dead way. We put another frostbite into you, and uh, yeah. We drop this. We hit you for 50. We take another three, but this is going to be, yeah, much better for survivability. We took 30. <laughs> so much damage. Um, what's my map? I see a Stygian banner, which is great, and I see an umbra banner which is meh um, but the nice thing about a stygian banner is i don't need to take morsel generation i could do a prismal dust i could do this perils hold over perils is never bad for the sweeping strategy i'm actually going to take this double stack drain by the way because uh, drain is a very very viable win con okay endless Interesting. So if I do see shark, I see multi strike shark and multi strike offering monument. We're gonna go endless into our multi strike shark because uh, endless shark is always good. We'll take some starting frostbite and we'll continue on. 
10 armor with a draft there. Um, we are actually going to play mid floor. Because mid floor is going to let me take out some units. We're going to plink. Give myself a floor space. Uh, 20, 40, 13, that's going to die there. 15, that's going to die. That guy is going to survive. But we uh, kind of want this floor gone. We can take another one. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. This is going to be enough to get this kill. 9, 18, 21. So you will be alive, which is fine. So we're going to end turn here. Um, I could just drain, which isn't bad. We're going to do this. I'm going to drain the backliner just because, you know, that's better for my survivability. And we just drop two of those in a plink, and I think this probably kills this floor. Yep. Awesome. Alright, what do we see next? Do we see a plus one on a Prismal Dust? Okay. We see a Crypt Builder. I like a Crypt Builder. That's always a fun card. Ooh, Multi-Strike Siren. Now you just need a defense option, my Siren friend. Um, we are going to go the dupe. And a Morsel Maid. Okay. Um, what do I see here? I see another Temple and another Stygian Banner. So we are going to dupe right now the Shark and infuse it. Having that mid-game shark, by the way, is just absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to get rid of a plink. All right, this mid-game Titan Sentry is going to carry us for the next couple of rings. Um, helping hand, purge a unit, get an upgraded version later. Actually, we're going to purge a spell. We're going to purge this Crypt build. No, 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 no. The gem trove. The gem trove is going away. Uh, if I can get a zero cost gem trove, that would be amazing. It's uh, not the highest chance, but it is a good one. All right. So you just go down here. Very cool. You go up here, and uh, we're just going to put more Frostbite into you. Yeah. Shark is going to do a great job of just getting kills for us. We plink. That does nothing. Um, trying to decide. I think we just drop off units, or do we just... Blast. I mean, you're taking one, two, three, four hits, and I'm assuming dying. Actually, no, you're not, are you? 18, 21, 31. 32. Oh, I can't get the kill with that unit there. Um, we're just going to drop you behind, and we're going to scale up here. Yeah, two health. That's a little sad. This is annoying. Thankfully, I can block with a train steward. Thank you, train steward. You did great. Now I have space for my shark once these guys come up. And I get one of those killed off. Awesome. Twenty, thirty, Great. You're going to die. We're going to blast here, incant, incant. Ah, that has spikes, which is a little sad. Your two damage, I don't... Well, I can just drop double train steward. No, I only want to drop one there. And that's a two pip shark, so I can drop one here as well. 
And this way I can still play Shark top floor as needed. I mean, it's not going to even get to top floor. Divinity will be annoying at high shards. I'm just going to point that out. Um, I love an Ice Empire. That's always good. But I'm going to take the Giant Forever Consumed. Man, they really want me to go with those. There is the Sweeper, right? I could do Scale Sweeper. I'm already scaling a Multi Striker plus Shark, though. So I don't really need the Sweeping so much anymore. Um, whoops. Wrong key. I wanted to hit deck with Z. I do think I probably go Merchant of Magic or Steel here. Hmm. Though that's a really good one instead. So I'm going to go to the Stygian Banner. I'm going to take an artifact. Sure, advanced prototype. That's going to just help a little bit in this phase. I'd rather have the Multi Striker than the Encant Armor one. Um, we can 30 magic power into you. We can plus 10 into this. That gives it piercing at least. And yeah, we're just going to put you into Nameless Siren. You're at 1020 now and you can eat any morsels I generate, uh, which is good. Now, how many more temples do I got? One, two, three. So enough to get rid of train stewards, which means it's probably just getting rid of two planks. And once again, super food is very dangerous, so we're just going to take the aggressive edible. We still need to figure out what we're doing against Divinity, though, to actually make my dude survive. I think this is fine, right? This is fine. Because most things are going to die to that sap. Do I just get... No, no, no. We save that damage shield for later. Yeah. Can I... Ooh, I can plink here. Ah, oh, I missed. That's fine. Alright. 9, 15, 30. Yeah, that's going to kill those. Um, we're just going to start scaling our multi-striker to deal with these waves because they're a little scary still. Right, so this next wave is probably the scariest one, because that is a lot of damage. That will get me two kills. Um, that is going to kill that. So we're just going to plink here. Nice. I like getting the morsel. I would prefer a defensive one, though. Right, I keep the morsels automatically. Okay, now I just need my dude to not die. Um, so sort something. I need to draw a unit of some sort. Okay, I could plink. No, plinking could easily just mess us up horribly. Give you a damage shield, we foregone power, cool. We are going to get a lot of junk, unfortunately. Um, we still have one Ember Drain. Ew. But dropping the sh of course I miss the 50-50 and take six, or 10. Oh, I forget those are the plus five. We get a couple more junk. This time though, I can play it if need be. And this should easily get a kill. Okay. Very cool. Collect. I will take a mid floor. Um, I will take a wretch. And hold over days can easily be a good survivability strategy. Choose a divine artifact. I will also take this. More frostbite. Starting with six frostbites is going to be super useful. 
Uh, that's the restore health one. That's the one I want the least. Um, hold on to it. We might as well get that up to five health. I was hoping it would get at zero cost or something like that, but whatever. Okay. We are just going to put a plus 25 health into you, I think. Yeah. Quick would also be good, but the plus 25 health is going to be better against Divinity. Um, strength Stone, why not? Now you're starting off strong. And Purges. I'm going to keep one Plink, because you never know. I'm going to get rid of one Forgon Power. What am I going next round? Probably there. So yeah, just one. I want to have money for artifacts. Spell Shield's fine. I'm honestly okay with that. Right, things are going to be taking 611 Frostbite before they even get to me. Um, yeah, that's okay. That's just going to die and I'm going to replay it. We dropped the Siren. We dropped the Titan Sentry. And we just start our scaling. There's just so much Frostbite damage coming in. Which is great. Uh... Do this. Cool. I don't actually want to discard that, so we're going to hold off on other discards. Seventy-four does mean kill, kill. Okay. We're just going to start dropping these train sears. Get them out of my deck. Twenty-three. That guy's going to survive. We drop this. We bring you back. Now we can just get rid of a couple of things. Awesome. Get a little bit more encants. That's going to give us a lot of damage, which is good. This, I could just clear the unit. Um, we drop another train steward. Let's see, I only need to do 73, and this is already doing 40 by itself, so I do need two ember. Ah, so I can... We're going to get rid of your spell shield. I'm going to blast you, and then we're just going to give you frost. Awesome. Now, the minus two attack actually would have also been amazing against this boss, right? Um, drain. Very cool. More frost. And this will actually probably get a kill. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And a death. Uh, Ember Cash is great for this. We take... I mean, that's another big damage. <laughs> Glacial Seal. Titan's Tooth is more AoE and more Frostbite. Um, I'm going to skip, though. <clears throat> I want to get to my days. I want to get to my sap. Take this. That's a good minus two target if we find one. Spell weakness one, why not? Let's see what the Merchant of Trinkets shows us. Days of Lifesteal. Lifesteal's good, survivability. There's a minus two, so we might as well put that into the gem trove. We're going to intrinsic the frenzied swarm. Now we have a turn one, at least, survivability plan against Divinity. Um, the Lifesteal 2 would just go to waste. So we're going to re... And this means I don't get Frostbite turn one. Uh, we can take the Cleansing Water. That's not bad. Ooh, neither is Hammer Chest Plates. Right, another plus five to my unit because of Hammer Chest Plates. Thank you. Oh, 
Okay, this is actually a really solid starting hand. Uh, we are not going to play the shark, though. This is the only downside. But we can drop you, then this. If we gem tro, now we eat three times as well. And we don't get any Ember Drain. Um, yeah. And now that we've done this once... One nineteen, ugh. 123, okay. Let's see if we can't get this up a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. So now when I return this, I get to eat all of them. Awesome. 210. We are going to drop both of these off. We might as well just do this. Now, like, if I get a hold over, I am really set as far as scaling goes. Alright, we just keep dropping units. We are going to drain you. And then we hammer here. Yeah, cool. And since one of those was damage shield, it's also really nice. Now, if I get go away. Um, this, I can just hold this over if I really want to. Let's just blast you. And plink. We'll gain 5 health. I think that's better than just letting that guy survive with a little bit of health. Hey, a shark. Okay. And we are just going to scale ourselves a bit. I mean, we have 105 health. We're doing pretty good up top. We draw. We draw. We return several units. I mean, we get 8 health per stack here. Which is great. Um, that guy's annoying. I want you to die, but you're not going to. We're just going to blast this. There we go. Just get some scaling going. It's only one hit coming in. I could gem trove. I think we just... Do we just gain health and sap? Yeah. Oh well. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure I still win. Yeah, okay. Um, we drop Titan Sentry. We scale here. I mean, that's one hit for 600 damage. Then a second hit into you, that's another 600. I'm trying to decide if I should cast the gem trove or not. No, no, I don't need to. So I'm going to gain 5 health. This is going to get a kill, I promise you. I can do quick math. See? Easy, easy kill. Ho! Oh, shroud mitosis, interesting. Shroud Spike, completely useless. Also, actually, completely useless. So, none of these are interesting. I already have a big damage spell. Don't need more of them. Take more draw. I want to see my days. I want to see my wretch as often as possible. Um, I think... Hold over wretch would be hilarious. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to hold over a wretch. Divine Temple shows us minus 2 into a drain. Plus 10 piercing into the crystallis. Very cool. We push our last two train stewards together. Merchant of Magic shows us hold over. While this is good on perils, I like it better on the wretch because that's just 
great scaling. Um, we'll put another one of those into that. We are going to consume the other Crystallis. Double stack. No. A minus one. No. We still have one temple. If they're both damage spells, whatever. Or upgrades, that's fine. We just do this. We find our champion. Yeah, we don't need status effects. We're just going to take a 45-8 and continue onwards. Um, Mark of Invasion, whatever. It's a lot of damage coming in. That's the only downside. All right, that's two, four, six pips. So we can drop you. Then we drop you, and then we feed you. And then we take out that guy. It's 5, 15, 20. The first one dies, and then he dies. Um, now we can drop our shark. We're just going to hold this over. Might as well put you in the back. And okay, we missed that. Oh well. But now... We've got our wretch going, right? Shark does more shark things. Let's just get back our unit here. We kill off two things, then it dies. Let's save our health and only take 10. All right, that goes there. <clears throat> are you dying? Yes, you are. Awesome. That means, oh, a lifesteal one and a health and that. Okay, that was like the perfect hit on those. Um, I don't actually want to plink here because I want this guy to die. Though I guess I could, it doesn't matter too much. That's 32, 42. Yeah. Now, I think we just let this go as is. We're gaining damage shields, we're gaining health. Um, we just get rid of the plink, get a couple more damage shields. That dies, so I don't have the Ember Drain, and I'm happy about it. And, yeah. Now we got our high amount of scaling. We just blast, drain, foregone power, be happy about it, and we say, ugh, you're... Uh, you're not fun, but it is what it is. It doesn't matter. We're just getting high scaling on this siren. Um, I don't want to swarm here. There we go, Daze. Because then I get a little bit more Frostbite. Frostbite's useless against him, pretty much, though. But, uh, I mean, with 8 damage shield and 800 damage, I'm pretty sure this guy has it. We'll gain the 5 health, so I'm not going to cast the Forgotten Powers. And then we just go, wretch. I think, I think my almost, my over 1,000 damage Siren of the Sea is going to be able to win. Um, we cast Porygon Power, we daze, we get a Crypt Builder, and bam. Okay. So, I think we have a solid plan here. I don't know what you guys believe, but I'd believe that. We could do a gem trove in this Merchant of Magic. Yeah, let's do a gem trove. I like that. Another drain? No. Guardian Stone also no. 
Skip. All right. Money. Divine Temple gives us a plus 13 and a plus 10, of course. Let's see what this has for us. Sketches of Salvation. Hmm. Is a Sketches of Salvation worth it? I have one, two, three, four units. It would pull everything out for me turn one. But I don't know if I want that. Because then my shark could be in the wrong place. Kinstone Totem also not needed here. So we're just going to re-roll. Um, yes and yes. <laughs> Remove Consume on something. We'll put that in the Ember Cache because it's hilarious. Minus one. This Gem Trove. We'll make that giant. We'll make you pierce. Might as well. And we're going to get rid of two foregone powers. We want a small deck as we recycle it. All right. Bring it on, Sap Seraph. I don't think you're going to survive. I do think this was an easy assignment. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. We drop you. We drop you, we get a space prism, we get a gem trove, we just eat everything. Like so, and we're just gonna do this down here to kill a unit. All right, I think we've already won. That's how confident I am right now. Ooh, an ember morsel, yes. Now, oh, I forgot I had, I need to remember I have split anvil. That's a very useful thing, right? We want to keep our morsel consume at a decent amount. Honestly, this is probably enough. That's whatever. We just have to get through that damage shield, which I don't think is going to be an issue. Yeah, so... Those are all good ones. Um, we're just going to start letting other morsels die. 16, yeah. You can go away. We're actually going to have this one die as well. Now when I draw seven, I am not... Oh, come on. When I draw that seven, I'm not putting any on top of my deck, and I think that's a good number. Seven return morsels. Decreases the chance of just random junk showing up. I'll get a damn shield, then we just blast that guy. We're also spreading out this sap quite a bit because we have three floors going see once again seven's the perfect number uh, let's just make sure to draw this card draw this card we get that extra draw because of the morsel which is hilarious this doesn't matter. Forgone powers, cool. Yeah. All right, draw a card. Interesting. Drop this, drop this. We just uh, Mega Blast, Double Blast. We're gonna return stuff first in case I draw, like, another kill here. Nope. Well, then we're just going to daze everything. And 
And I think we finally get rid of the damage shield. Because we do two attacks and the frostbite. Yep. So Shark takes care of the weak things in the back. Siren takes care of the strong things that survive. Here we do lose one morsel, which is okay. I'm actually going to send away the magma morsel, and we draw that anyways. I think I have, honestly, enough attack. So from here, it's just, you know, defense is the main thing. Losing all my damage shield. Not that my unit has to live for very long to get the kill here. Are you dying 30, 46? No. It's okay, though. Now, I actually am, unfortunately, going to take some damage. Um... We do this. So we can blast that guy. Then we daze. We are going to take 16 to the pyre. That's a little sad. Ow. Cool, cool, cool. You're just going to die right away anyways. Um, yeah. We get these guys back. Go Primordium. Oh, we might as well save a damage shield. Yeah. So we just have to watch out for the wide floors that we face. I don't actually need that shark back. I'm going to draw that morsel that made it through. Very cool. Now I can just Ember Drain my own unit. I read you the shark anyway, so I guess defend me, shark. Ah, man. I didn't get my morsel back. Or my, uh... Primordium. That's a little unfortunate. That's my own fault. Uh, once again, we want the health. This doesn't all matter, because he's just going to get a kill anyways. There we go. Go, go, lifesteal. We took six damage in total. All right, Divinity, I think I have your number. <laughs> yeah, we got this. Okay. Um, we drop Primordium. We drop the Morsel. We Space Prism. We Damage Shield. Now that does nothing. We blast, and we discard. Cool. No Ember Drain. Scaling well. I think we will be fine. Uh, but... We do that here to kill that floor. We do that here, because now we get more souls. Awesome. This one can just stay here. 
That kills one unit. Let's just discard. Us. That's very cool. Um, we start getting rid of units from my hand. We don't need to cast more morsels. Because my scaling should be fine currently. Here we are. We are going to Prismal Dust and then we can Wretch. We get that Ember Cache running. We do take a chunk of damage because the uh, the floors are a little wide for us. Okay, I do get two kills here, so it's only this guy in the back. So I think I'm going to be fine just dropping Shark off. Um, and at worst, like now I have my Retch on holdover, I can use Primordium to kill the backliner. Though that would probably kill the Primordium. Um, anyways, we blast here. We blast here. We get the Retch. We just keep doing this, and voila. We gain back five of the health. Yay! This gets dropped off. We get rid of you. Let's well, wretch. Um, as I said... Okay, that works out very well for us. Oh, that actually doesn't get the kill. Okay. This puts you at two and a one. Now, if I do this, that goes the two attack. Yeah, that's the correct call. I think that's better. Uh, the staff is going to be better for us in the long run than the single turn of days. And we are just going to get rid of things. Actually, I want to get rid of Train Steward. Less redraws, the better for me. Are you going to die? Yes, you're going to die. So we can also Perils if we want. Can I get this in a single kill? Easily. Uh, we don't need the Gem Troves going anymore. We got Life Steal. We gain back our five health, yay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and just push you back. Get the scary guys. We draw our six. We just start scaling some more. Right, we get since we get three life steal a turn. We are actually gaining one stack of life steal every round, which is nice. Alrighty, cool. We get both of those, which means now. We get the kill on both of them. What do we draw? Gem Trove. No, thank you. Having the two Gem Troves just has been nice because it means I get my starting morsels quicker. Plus, if I cast it over and over again, this is going to take a lot longer. I mean, I clearly already have the win, right? It's not like a flying kill or anything, but I have a win. I want to keep gaining health, because that's the smart thing to do. 
I could get another 90 in there, but that doesn't matter. We're just going to take the incant for the couple of rage, right? Or I could just blast that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Goodbye, shark. You've done a great job. What a hand. What a hand. Um, I don't feel like taking damage, so we do this and this. We can drop a shark. We can blast things away. We can rage. We can reform everything. We can draw another card. It's a dead weight. Whatever. We only have 1465 attack. I think we're going to be fine. Yeah. All right. Continue. Took 10 damage. We did gain some of it back, thankfully. Run summary. Cool. So that was the homework challenge. Um, the math challenge, so no combat previews, which is fine. Um, Primordium is great for this. The find a sweeper, scale a sweeper strategy works great. If you, But since I had already used an Awoken with Primordium, I decided to do Stygian. Stygian also works. There are sweepers in Stygian. Um, there's also Titan Sentry, which that Frostbite, just if you find Endless Titan Sentry, just clears out the back liners. Um, and then you just, yeah, I go insane by putting a morsel made inside a nameless siren and just scaling every turn to a thousand attack. That's the thing with this strat uh, this challenge. You just find something that you know can easily hyperscale. So primordium sweepers, um, transcendent. If you find an imp strategy is insane, little fade, of course, can really work. You do have to be careful of burnout there. But yeah, find a sweeper. Scale Sweeper, or in this case, find a Siren, Scale a Siren, and give them a lot of Frostbite. Means you don't have to do too much math to get the win. And that is the end of that challenge, so thank you for watching, and have fun.